Hello and welcome back to Let's Try. We're trying Red Ronin. This is by the same developers as Undergrave, which I uh, just covered on my channel. And it looks very similar in nature, but I figured I'd grab them both and uh, cover them both because they both look really appealing um, if you like that kind of gameplay. Um, so first to note is um, this game has flashing images. So if you have photosensitivity, you might want to uh, avoid this video. Um, I try, I'm trying to be better about these kind of things. Uh, but either way, yeah, I, I'd, uh, you know, stay safe. Um, let's see, let's see what we're about. So this is how it ends. We had a similar ending, or uh, ending in, uh, or beginning in Undergrave. Losing everything made me realize what I had. Right or wrong, truth or lies, none of this makes sense. Forgive me, guys, we'll all be together soon. Chapter one, Blood Trail. All right, bit of a different start. Isaac, you're sure about this, right? This is just the beginning, Isaac. And you know the consequences? Yes, just give me his location. Yeah, I don't know if we need to have those kind of flashes for uh, environmental effect. Target is on the highest floor. My readings are indicating a high number of individuals inside. It is likely that they know we are coming. Perfect. Do you want a shortcut? No. Let's go by the front door. Okay, so yeah, similarly uh, as in under Undergrave, we have this kind of dash. This time, though, we don't have a normal movement. We just have a dash. Uh, this is almost like Sokoban uh, style gameplay so far. You don't know what that is. I mean, there's uh, various different forms of it, but like, um, I, I think one type is you have basically this exact form of movement. Am I might go in the right way? Okay, so slightly um, simpler gameplay than in Undergrave. Similar in some ways, but like, you know, um, it's, it's much more simpler. So this time we can just dash through everything. Our dash is infinite. Um, you know, no limitations, and we are, we are just killing non-stop this time. Which I can get, uh, I can get down with that, that's, that's pretty fun. Oh no, except one kill, one, one, uh, one hit is, is a kill. So this time, yeah, you gotta, you gotta delay your, your hits, um, your attacks occasionally, so that you don't die. Okay. So, uh, in a lot of ways, not uh, not the same kind of game or even genre as Undergrave. Undergrave was going for more of a roguelike thing. Um, this is a bit more um, arcadey. But, you know, I like it. So these are traps and you get one grace turn before they go off. Nice a bit, a little bit of um, communication of that. I always have to appreciate when a game uh, you know how it communicates okay so yeah once it's up you can't you can't run into it how a, how a game communicates its idea is um, you have to you know they, they have to be clever about it sometimes I actually really like these kind of puzzle games as well I mean this is it's basically a puzzle game press the Z key to freeze the enemies for one turn this can be useful in sticky situations okay So you get one turn. I see, and you have to pick up the uh, this watch. Oh, interesting. Okay, this is uh, this is really cool. Actually, oh god, I make stupid mistakes like that though. It's not a lot of fun. I noticed the uh, time freezing when we landed on the trap, it didn't set it off. Okay, so we're on floor 10 already. Press the right mouse button to enter tactic mode. Use the mouse to... what? 
choose which direction you want to turn. What? Mouse scroll. Oh, I see. Press the right mouse button to return to combat mode. You can now play the game using the keyboard. Only using the keyboard. Uh, weird way of communicating. Yeah, throwing in the mouse control uh, there when we, we had uh, Z, like just keyboard before, was uh, is a little odd, but that's fine. Um, okay, so we're going to throw this down. Like that. And uh, we need to get that other change. So we can throw it here. And it's a left click and then a right click. All right. Hmm, that was that was incorrect. I I I, I realized the error of my ways there. All right. So far, so good. The, that slowdown is a little bit disconcerting. I feel like I didn't do this right. Because now I can't get past this area. I don't I don't have a, a thing. Okay, so um, I'm going to have to scratch my noggin on this one a little bit. Okay, so once we're here, how would one... Oh, I see. I just need to not go back down. Okay, that, that would have been smarter of me, huh? Um, so what we need to do is use our tactic here to move... Well, the thing is, is that guy up north is just going to kill me, though. Yeah, so I, I, I don't understand. All right, well, I'll figure it out. That was dumb. That was incorrect. Go north, so that that guy doesn't kill us. Oh, I get it. I get it. We got to go put it there. Okay, that makes sense. And then we can kill this guy. All right, things are things are getting uh, slightly spicier. Sometimes you gotta back right up. Kill her now. All right, so... Hmm. Do we use our time freeze or do we use our tactics? Or do we use both? I think we use both. Actually, we should be able to back up to get that other kill. But now we need... Okay, do we... we don't have a time freeze, so we got to use this to ensure we kill this girl here. All right. The, the boss um, escaped. Oh, I see. The boss is always going to escape because that is... That is the intention. Um... Now, okay, let's let's use our tactic here, and we're gonna kill this guy. And then we'll. It should be okay not to use my time freeze just yet, but now I am gonna have to use it. And we get a. We actually get to save um, a rotation, a tactic. Look who showed up! Did you come here to return the flowers I sent to your funeral? What do you want? Did you miss me? If you want money, I can give you some. Just give me some time. Who sent you? Come on, Red. We can solve this. Give me some time. There's no turning back. Who sent you? I, I can help you. Just say the name and I'll figure out. I'll give you the other's location. You know I can help you. So we got a kind of a Kill Bill style game. Uh, uh, sorry here. Let's negotiate. We can solve this together. You're really a rat. You'd even sell your mother to get out of this. 
This is how I reached where I am now. And this is how it will end. Ah, uh, I see. We, we were meant to have this tactic. Nice. What is this? This looks like a memory unit. They're generally used to store sensitive information and the data contained has a very secure encryption. Do you think it can be decrypted? It may take some time, but yeah, it's possible. I'm receiving data from the bottom floor. She's moving. Okay, let's go. Nice. Classic. Classic uh, Muzak elevator scene. The car is gone. As expected, the locator is already working. She is going north on 5th Avenue. Let's go now. Not yet. I want to see what's inside this thing. Okay, just don't forget why we're doing this. We get a, a rating. C. Oh, S rank. That's nice. I'm usually I usually have an aversion to um, games having a ranking system because it's like I I, I just want to play the game. I don't want to I don't want to compete on some kind of weird level. You know, like I don't want to feel like I'm, I'm already speedrunning the game before I even like learn how to play it properly. Red, I know you're exciting, excited and everything, but uh, at least you're here. Here you can relax, okay? All right, Isaac. The leftovers did another attack, this time looting economic centers and distributing the credits to the homeless. Oh, I see. Ha ha ha. You can, you can rest here. You don't have to dash everywhere. Insert MU, yes. Decrypting. Better get some sleep while the memory unit is decrypting. Nice little respite. I appreciate the uh, the extra kind of like calm vibe in between hectic vibes. The nation celebrates one more victory, but the war isn't even close to the end. This is just the TV blaring. Ending the war would affect, affect the private businesses. Decrypted. Access MU. Chapter 2. Going Under. New mechanics. Red, are you already at the point of contact? Yes, now what? Now we wait for priest sign. What sign? I don't know for sure, but we're talking about priest. What? Ah, uh -huh, I told you. Power generator disabled. Disabled, you mean obliterated, right? Ha ha ha. The thing had a reinforced base. I used all my C4 charges on this. You better make the work, chatty. Make this work. I'm I'm out of I'm out if anything goes wrong. Have we ever failed even once? Relax and stay in position. We take over from here. Got it. Red, it's your turn. Keep an eye open despite the power generator being turned off. My inside contacts said they still have an autonomous patrol bots. They're in the dark, but we'll take you down if you don't pay attention. So use your bot friend to stay out of their field of vision. The job is simple. Get to the central computer, disable the security system, and retrieve the data from the mainframe. Just don't play like a super soldier and we all will be back home. Don't forget to delete the camera recordings too. I don't want to sp spend all night hacking their system to erase your pretty face. Okay, so we've got like maybe a um, kind of origin story here. I'm a little bit worried if I move... I guess I don't want to move into those. Like I'm not trying to kill these things. Okay. Easy, easy so far. What happens if I go into the back of them? You die. Okay. I, you know, sometimes I gotta, I gotta find these things out the hard way. All right. Now we have our, our classic um, tactic here, which we're gonna have to use.
have I messed this up? No, I'm okay. There we go. This uh, this game is pretty tricky, but I I'm I'm enjoying this. Okay, so we've got a tactic right now. If I move up, I wonder what what will happen. Yeah, I was wonder I was hoping that it would move when I did. What we need to do is use our tactic here. There we go. Grab this. Move back. Oh, that guy did. I thought he was gonna. So in this situation, we could. What we could do is use our tactic here. I don't think this is gonna work. I feel like I need to move back one. There we go. Okay, better to be safe than sorry, you know? Okay, this is a dangerous situation to be in, but that's fine. Uh, okay, we're gonna have to use our tactic now. Now, what do you do in this situation? Oh, I see, there's a tr we can move left. I'm a little bit worried about what's gonna happen next. Uh, okay, we need to use our tactic to go up north. And then, yeah, okay. So we, we got a, a freebie power up there. We're undoubtedly gonna need to use that. Maybe here? No. Oh, interesting. Okay, so... Oh, I see. We need to use the tactic to go east. All right. And then we go back. I'm just a little bit worried about, like, when are we going to need to use that um, bullet time? Maybe now? Because, like, if I move... Yeah, I was like, uh, you know what I'd like to see, honestly, is uh, that ghosting effect for when enemies, like what their next turn is going to be. I'd like to see that maybe all of the time because I don't necessarily know where the enemy is going to go. So we're going to use our tactic. See, now here's the problem. If I do this, then I'm still going to get killed. So I need to use this, and this is when I'm going to have to use my time frame uh, freeze. Oh my god, I still died? How the heck are we supposed to do this? Mm. You know what? What we should do... Like, what I'd like to do is do this, because then, in theory, I should be able to sneak by them, right? No. See, uh, the, the, it's a little bit uh, nebulous when when a turn happens and when it doesn't. Because, like, you have this whole, like, time freeze thing, right? But then also, like, it shows enemies moving when you use your, your tactic. But they're just, like, it, it doesn't work that way sometimes. Honestly, wonder if it wouldn't be worth doing like this. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I don't know if that was the intended path, path, but uh, it worked. So. All right. So we still have this time freeze that I haven't uh, used up yet. And things are developing now. We have enemies. All right, go up north. I actually, I think we're going to have to use our time freeze now. Because that person's going to move east and then kill us. Uh, 
I don't know what we have to do here. Okay, I, I, I don't know how I managed it, but I did get through that. I kind of want to like, I want to finish this chapter and then uh, I'll call it there, but this is, this is really cool. I, I you, like I say, I really like these kind of puzzle games. Um, I tend to have a really good time with them. This one, there's a, a little bit more layers than, than I've seen in other versions of this kind of puzzle game, which isn't a bad thing at all. Um, I will say that I think some of these layers are not communicated super well, at least not to me. Um, but that's okay because I I think after a while you do kind of figure them out uh, Now I'm a little bit worried what we need to do is time freeze grab this and then tactic up there we go What we need to do oh so this guy's gonna double back on his next turn see like i need to know that kind of thing more often or, or more quickly i don't know like i need to know it i need to know it right away uh i wonder if like not grabbing that would actually be a better idea what we'll do so i'll move there and then follow this guy over here so we 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 lose a power up might hurt us in the end, but I don't think that you necessarily need every power up. Oh, that's a, I thought that I could go through that. Not the case at all. Uh, I, I might just have to restart that then. Yeah, so what we're going to do instead is we're going to go up here. And then we can continue north. There we go. That was an easier one. That one should have appeared uh, earlier. Some of these levels are, are more complicated. Uh, okay, yeah, there we go. A little bit worried about what happens next. Now, the problem here is that I can't grab that thing yet. There we go. So this guy is going to move east one. I need, I don't know where some of the, the like the, what the pathway is for some of these enemies. And I think that does hurt the game play a little bit. Obviously, I like, I knew that was going to kill me. Okay, that, that makes more sense now. And then we're going to use the second tactic to go into this little room. Move back. All right. Now I just need to not die here. And we, we managed to end that with two power-ups. I, I think the thing that's kind of hurting... Um, the gameplay just a little bit is the fact that we can end the level with more power-ups than we left uh makes it less obvious on like you know how how am i like how many power-ups am i actually supposed to be using right now oh that was dumb All right, so far so good. Ah, that was good. And we can use our... Now the problem is if I use this tactic now, then I, I, I have to use it to escape the level clearly. So we wanna do this. Now, where is he gonna go? Okay, so now we can use it to escape. Good to, good to know, all right. Uh, 
chatty. What the hell is that? I don't know. Looks like they restored the power back again. There's nothing here about a backup power source. I have no idea why this is happening. Get out of there. Now, abort mission. They were ready for us. God damn it. Chatty. Mile yellow priest abort miss red. I'm sorry. What? What? I mean, come on. Priest? It's over, kid. Every man for himself. God damn it. All right. Mile. I'm sorry I can't do much from here. So this is undoubtedly going to be the next person we have. To I have to assume um, all of these people are betraying Red. Sensei? God damn it. Okay, let's uh, do that. And then we'll kill this guy. Kill her. Um, if we move left, that guy is going to kill us. We need to do that first. Easy peasy. We still have our time stop. Uh, which we need to use now. Okay. Gotta be sneak. Oh, that was stupid. Damn it. You gotta be sneaky sometimes. I don't have any power-ups right now. Okay, there you go. That was, uh, kind of tricky. That was also kind of tricky. Oh, who's that? What? Yeah, I don't think that does much for your, uh... <laughs> I, I, I understand the temptation to do something like that, for graphically speaking, but uh, that's definitely gonna put a few people away. After that, I only remember of waking up in a dark prison cell. One month passed, nobody came. Yeah, so she got betrayed and now she's on a mission to kill everyone. Torture sessions were more frequent than the meals. I was determined to never snitch. I had to kill them one by one myself. Okay. All right. Um, Red Ronin. I, I like this. I think that, um, ultimately, I think that Undergrave is a more cleverly put together game. Uh, I, I like this kind of gameplay a lot, but, um, I think that this game's got some flaws that are going to, uh, I mean, like, you know, needlessly flashing lights and, uh, graphics are, are cool and all, but I don't think they really do much for your game and uh personally speaking i know i don't know like i'm not speaking for everyone here but uh i, I don't think they really contribute much like i tend to just kind of be annoyed by them more than anything um so i mean you know that's a, that's a criticism but uh it's not of the gameplay the gameplay is a little bit i don't know it's 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 good like the actual puzzles are good but definitely i feel like um some of the solutions feel a little bit intended if that makes sense like you have an idea of what the player is going to do and how they're going to solve it but um there's not necessarily great communication on uh how they they're supposed to come to that conclusion um just in the way that certain some of the uh enemies move around like the the normal people the ones that you can you know cut through that's fine they're very predictable um, but the robots are less predictable because they're on a pathway and it's not really super understood how what those what that pathway is so maybe you needed to have like a little bit of a like a little line just to show their pathway um to to kind of come to that conclusion um it's also not a super um easy to to know like how, like when am i supposed to use power-ups um because you know like I don't know, it, it plays this kind of uncomfortable divide between like being a 
straight shooter puzzle game and then being like almost a uh, RPG, not really an RPG, but you know what I mean? Like you, you progress through these levels and you accumulate power-ups in it and it has continuity. And I think that continuity actually ends up hurting some of the puzzle design just a little bit. Um, and every time I used a power-up, it was very clear to me like, yeah, I mean, this is the point you intend for me to use the power-up, but I don't know if I would have necessarily come to that conclusion. Um, I don't know. It's, it's sort of like, you know, the puzzles are guiding the player rather than the player is solving the puzzles, if that makes sense. Um, that's kind of how I feel about it. I still like it though. I, I still, I would still like play more of this game and I actually do like the, what they're doing with the story. It's very Kill Bill, um, but you know, it's got a, got a little bit of a Blade Runner twist. So anyway, Red Ronin, uh, what do you think of it? Let me know in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video, definitely hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content like this, like this. Oh my God, my voice. And I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy. Let's <laughs> go.